Hello kids, Steve coming back at you for another edition of Saturday Morning Cartoons. Here's today's five packs, a couple of different ones for you. We will take a look at Popeye with some original art. Hopefully we pull one of the chase cards or gold foil stamp out of there. We have some Star Wars, again hoping for some Star Wars magic. Shrek 2. Shrek, the Lion King, and Anastasia. These are all pretty fun cards. After that, we shall open a piece of mail that I got yesterday from Autographs 2000. Very friendly, very always kind with words and comments. Just a great member of the card community like all of you are. I know that for a fact. First, we shall run a little contest here. Um, apparently, I have shrunk in the last couple of years. If you remember one of my videos, I did mention I'm six foot four. And now it turns out I was. I have shrunk down to six foot two and a half. If you can find that one video that mentions my height, mention in that video and drop the name of this video in your comment. We shall mail you a special prize. The first person to get it will absolutely get something special. I'll contact you for your mailing information and get something shipped right out to you. So, without any further ado, we have Anastasia. Oh, look at that. Die cut card right off the get-go. Pretty cool. Pretty neat. These are by Upper Deck. There's a couple of mice kissing. There we are. That looks cool. What is this? Oh, they're just stuck together. And there's the last two we get from the pack. Oh, explosives. <laughs> I had it upside down. Sorry. Yep, pretty interesting cards. Let me get these put aside, and then we shall take a look at the next pack here. We are going to do the Lion King. My favorite ones are Timon and, or Timon and Pumbaa, whatever their names are, just because, you know, they are cool. And these are stuck together from Panini. Holy cow. I, I'm having trouble getting these un, unbricked. Oh, this ain't going to be fun. Sorry about that. Oh, man, I ruined an ape, or a monkey, rather. A primate. Wow, these are... Yeah, we can make a little pup tent with them and store the other cards underneath if we have to. Wow, paper loss. Panini. Thank God you're doing a much better job nowadays, right, kids? Well, I hope you all go out and have a very nice, safe Saturday today. You deserve it, you know? That's all I can say. How about Shrek? I do hope you all have a great week and tune in tomorrow. Sunday morning cartoons. Gonna have some fun with that one, I can tell you. Oh, we got a chase card right off the bat. Look at that, all chromed up and f foily. That's pretty cool. And make sure there's nothing stuck to it. There's not. Alrighty. Uh, aren't they a cute green couple? Hey, there's my boy, Shrek. Here we have the Pseudo Kingdom. Nice artwork in these. I know they're stills from a movie, but I'm still just a sucker for good artwork. So that's awesome. We probably should just leave that bad boy up right there. Or bad girl, I guess. Bad girl. <laughs> Let me take my time so as not to ding anything. There we go. Put that over here for when I do get some sleeves. Let's go to Popeye. 
I know I've done these before and you may have seen it before, but for those of you who haven't, these are pretty cool cards going all the way back through the history of Popeye, whether it be a cartoon, a book, a comic book. These are just really, really nice, nice cards. And there's the inspiration for Popeye. Yeah, he was a actual sailor. That was the inspiration. See, really nice cards. Original artwork and some cool stuff. Sea Hag looks like Popeye and Drag. Oh, I guess he's accepting his spinach award. And finally, the last one in that pack, Old Man Popeye. Not Poop Deck Pappy, but that's Popeye as an old man from 1953. It says here, Popeye, the Ace of Space, which is pretty, pretty accurate. Now, let's say we go into the Star Wars. Nothing but Star Wars. All right. <laughs> we appear to just have the wheels. Maybe of a sand crawler? Not sure what that is, but the treads from something. Who is this here? Officer Vade Bloodfill. <laughs> Bloodfill. Interesting. Hey, everyone knows this cat. Human Cyborg Relations. C-3PO. Oh, nice. Got a sticker. Those are actually fairly rare nowadays. They don't come one per pack. I can check out the odds real quick if you want me to. Yep, yeah, da, 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 da. let's see here. Looking, looking, looking. The green cards are one and two. Those are the most common. Die cut sticker, 1 in 12. 1 in 12, so that's good. And, and yeah, there's the green card. That is 1 in 2, so not bad. Two inserts in one pack. I'll take that all day long. All day long. All right, let's get these taken care of here. Real quickly. No, the green ones are not numbered, neither are the stickers, but that's okay. They are really cool. And now we shall do the mail from Autographs 2000. That's me. If you would like to be just like Autographs 2000 and surprise me with some beautiful stuff and get a shout out, both when I get the mail and when your name comes up on Shout Out Sunday, it's a random listing but I make sure I get everybody once before anyone gets it again as much as I can oh that's that's nice Scott Steve love your channel and thankful you subbed mine hope you enjoy these take care my friend Scott at autographs 2000 well thank you Scott I really appreciate it and kids just so you know I appreciate everything everyone sends me. I do not expect anything at all, but your generosity and your gratitude speaks volumes more than words can say. Seriously. Now, I am getting into this team bag. It looks like he actually watches Saturday morning cartoons, so this fits in perfect. Jeez, cat. He must be from Wisconsin. We have a cheese head. He is a cheese cat. Ha. Ooh, I love these old DC ones. Mr. Mixoplick. Gotta say his name backward, or he has to say it backward for him to disappear. That would be Clyptoskim, if you remember the old cartoons. Ooh. <laughs> awesome. Cuddles the Hamster. That one's cool enough to go right into a sleeve. I like that. That is really nice. Oh, terrifying trivia. 
Where were Billy's parents going on their next expedition in Welcome to Camp Nightmare? Oh, this is produced by Tops. That's awesome. And obviously it's Goosebumps. Okay, do you know the answer? Anybody? They're going to Earth. Let's take a look at the rest here. Well, that's just kind of interesting. <laughs> And these, again, are Tops Goosebumps. Oh, I like that one. That's cool. <laughs> Get the cat off my head, Ma. Mom does laughing. Oh, look, my mommy's home. Oh. Not so sure how I'd feel about that. Wow, Scott, that was awesome. These will go in my non-sport boxes. Trust me, I got a few. So again, thank you. Thank you, Autographs 2000. Thank everybody for watching. Hope you all had a great week. Have yourself a fantastic Saturday. Come back Sunday so you can see who's on this week's Sunday shout-out. We may have an opening to go along with. I've never opened a Prime Pack. I'm not sure if $9 is worth it, but we will see. My brother gifted me that, John Rodemacher. Thank you very much. And with that, I will let you all go with my normal parting words. Be excellent to each other. Just treat people as you want to be treated. Avoid the noid. Hulk smash that thumbs up. Every time you do, the video gets more popular and more people see it than people will see me calling you out and giving you shout outs and saying how awesome your channel and content is. They will then check you out. They will subscribe to you. That circle is going and going like you wouldn't believe. And again, we are all in this together. Keep your stick on the ice and above all else, peace.